When I was in class 11th, I made a lot of mistakes and if I had not corrected those mistakes in class 12th, I would probably not get selected into a government medical college. In this video, I'll be sharing with you all the different mistakes which I did and which some of my friends did, which I learned from and hopefully you can avoid them in your future. So whether you are in class 9th or class 12th and if you are aiming for NEET, that makes you a NEET aspirant. So in some way or the other, this video might apply to you. Anyways, without further ado, let's go. mistake is actually very very critical and that was something which I was also doing in second year MBBS. So now you might be thinking what might be similar in second year MBBS as well as 11th class. So the thing is um, solving questions. So solving questions is something which you have to do for any competitive examination. Tum kitna bhi padu, no matter how much you study, if you don't solve questions, there is no point in your studies because you don't know how to use your knowledge. You don't know what questions are going to be asked from your knowledge. And when I was in second year, I was genuinely a little bit afraid that I might not score good. So I was avoiding questions for just because of the fear that I might not score good. And that was one of the things which I also did in class 11th, which I corrected later on. So the daily objective which any NEET aspirant should have in his mind, especially if you're in class 11th or 12th, is that you should be solving anywhere from 150 to 300 questions per day. Uh, that would be a mixture of both chemistry, physics and biology. No matter how bad you are at the topic, no matter how good you are at the topic, the questions which uh, are there will tell you uh, your reality. And sometimes it might happen that the thing which you are afraid of might be the easiest topic that you ever solved the question bank. And if you're preparing for NEET, PG or next and still watching this video, I appreciate it. But secondly, uh, don't be afraid of solving questions. They are literally the key uh, to the door that is called as any competitive examination. Now, my second one is a little bit more complicated to explain. But it was um, like there was a girl in class 9th uh, and class 10th, the same girl, of course. She was very intelligent and she was very pretty and I had a crush on her. I genuinely had a crush on her. And um, the thing was, uh, when 10th happened, the start part of 10th happened, uh, uh, we kind of broke up and it, it, you know, it just pains my heart even now, but we are good friends now. The thing is that that breakup actually left a really big dent on my heart and uh, somehow I felt like I needed to prove the world I was capable, I was good enough so that in a way I could impress her. Ki, okay, you broke up with me, but still I have achieved something in life. Now that I look back upon it, that was a very wrong ideology because you have to accept with what you are born with and you have to improve not because you want to be somebody else, you want to impress somebody, but because you want to achieve your own personal dreams. Uh, first of all, if you're a need aspirant, don't get into any sort of relationship because that is going to eat away some part of your time uh, as well as some part of your you know mental stability. And secondly, if you have just you know broken up with your school, crush um, don't you know study to prove a point study because you want to achieve your dream so this was something which uh, was genuinely a factor in class 11th but in class 12th I just gave everything up and it was all because I wanted to achieve something right the next thing is uh, pretty easy pretty common um, so I see a lot of people asking me uh, how did you crack neat or how did you study physics how did you study chemistry what did what, what is the resources you use for biology I do guide them uh, most of the times but the thing is uh, it does not mean that whatever I am telling you is the literal best thing that's going to work for you. It's not absolute. It's not like uh, if you have asthma and I'll give you terbutaline, so your asthma will go away. It's not that exact. So uh, just like that, every single student has a book, you know, which fits that particular student. I was the one person who loved reading at Sivarma and GRB together. So I did that and I suggested the same to many people, but many people didn't like it. So the thing is, if you are blindly following a senior, especially the seniors on YouTube, uh, including me, of course, it might happen that whatever I am saying, that might not be the best fit for you. So you have to realize the fact that there are things which one person is going to tell you, recommend to you, and there's going to be a thing which you are going to be suitable for. So bridge this gap and, you know, find something in between which works for you, but also gives you the best results. So make sure that you are not falling into the trap of blindly following seniors on YouTube or your life, etc. You have to decide for yourself what is good for you, what is bad for you. Of course, by taking suggestions and reviews from the people you love and the people who have gone through the same phase as you have. The same thing applies to many of the study techniques. I see a lot of YouTubers making videos on active recall and spaced repetition, which is a beautiful thing in itself and it is helping me a lot right now. But the thing is, if it doesn't apply to you, it just doesn't and it, there is no pressure on you to just blindly follow all of these techniques 
follow the things which work for you the best right so the next story comes from class 11 standard of anuj pachel uh, just giving the test uh, in his classroom and we had this all india test series right so of course whenever you are in a coaching institute and there are all of these grand tests of all india test series you start to see yourself in a competition with your fellow batchmates and that is the point where it gets really you know uh, difficult for you mentally as well as difficult for you uh, physically to prepare for that particular sort of competition but is also necessary so the thing is uh, in my class there were a few people who were scoring so much higher than what i was scoring if i was in rank 800 or so out of like 50000 people uh, they were scoring somewhere between 100 or 150 or 200 300 so i used to feel like okay i have to bridge this much competition just because i want to get ahead of x y z and i want to be uh, better than this guy or better than that guy so my goal here was not that i wanted to become better it was because i wanted to become better than x y z the reality is i realized it like way way you know later in class 12th and then i thought to myself okay my friends uh this x y z person is not my competition this a b c person is not my competition i am my own competition now the thing is once you are in that mindset that you are your own competition your results start to genuinely physically improve so there's a real story um i was in scoring between the ranks of 500 to 600 in all india test series which is conducted pan india it was a big coaching institute which i was a part of and um, my scores uh, started increasing day by day so initially i was between 500 to 600 and gradually at the end of the test series um i was some scoring somewhere between 50 to i guess my best rank was 67 so i went from the guy who scored 800 something rank in the day one all the way to rank 67 in the last test of the test series out of around 30 to 50000 people approximately and that all happened with my preparation of course that i changed my mindset from being better than xyz to being better than myself and that's a big change if you stop looking at the people who are ahead of you and think of just about yourself okay maine aaj test mein 15 questions galat kiye how do i improve myself and become better so that the next time these 15 questions come to me i don't make a single mistake so this is a mindset once you start getting that into your brain your life will change and of course you have to continue your preparation with that because just because you have a mindset that does not mean ki you will succeed in that particular thing you also have to put in the amount of work put in the hours we stay hungry we devour anyways that's my basic point right so the next one might not apply to you because it is something which i don't feel like people are doing enough so the thing is uh, i see a lot of students uh, who just directly aim for all india rank 1 and that's a beautiful thing because that's the absolute ultimate goal for any single examination i also see this other subset of population who just thinks ki theek hai jo hoga wo hoga and they set low goals for themselves If you set your goal for 650, you're gonna end up at 625. If you set it for 690, you're gonna end up at 670. So that's the way it works. If you set your goals reasonably higher, then you'll score just slightly lower than what you want it to be. Because there is a dragon which is you know trapped inside you, my friends. Like every new aspirant who is watching this video, there's literally a, like a fire-breathing dragon which is trapped inside you. All you have to do to unleash it is to change your mindset and start working hard, and as well as that, believing in yourself, but also setting your goals high. so that that dragon which is inside feels ki mere samne ek goal hai jo mujhe achieve karna hai and by the time that dragon reaches over there you know uh, he will reach somewhere very near to that goal up or down so make sure that your goals are reasonably higher than what you are you know trying to achieve right so my next point is something related to tests there's one strategy that i want you to follow which i have never talked about this before on the channel but it's very simple let's say that you have five chapters in your textbook and you want to you know make these five chapters the best five chapters that you're going to prepare for so what you have to do is that read revise and solve the question bank of these five chapters and then week 1 focus on chapter number 1 week 2 focus on chapter 2 and so on so in each single week you are you know just compacting and packing that chapter into one single test so make sure that you have a test aligned of at least 50 or 100 questions that you're going to give at the end of week 1 after studying the chapter and solving the question bank for one particular week so each week of your life you're going to finish off one one chap this way whenever a question comes from that part i know ki mujhe aayega because i have done the hard work okay number 7 this is the most important point in my entire video and nobody talks about this on youtube on any platform so if you're studying for neat you will feel a sort of mental pressure it will be like a axe which is hanging above your neck so at any given point you will feel like you're going to die the thing is this pressure is the pressure of selection and there will be some days where you will question your preparation you will question ki yaar itna to pad raha hai yaar my score is not improving and at that point you have to realize that this phase will also pass on you have to be confident on yourself and you have to maintain your own mental sanity so my point number 7 is to take care of your mind 
you have to stay mentally strong during your preparation there are going to be days which are going to be full of darkness you might lose a loved one during this two years of preparation or even after that you there might be financial instabilities in your house there might be friends who not who might not speak to you you might be in a relationship and you might have a breakup there are a lot of things which are, which, which can happen with you because you're a student and you also have this thing called as life apart from preparation so the fact is you have to take care of this precious thing called as life and not just give in to just 100% preparation because if you lose this then what is the meaning of this tumne prepare to kar liya but in the end you lost everything so what is the meaning of all of that so make sure that whenever you are having bad days you talk with your parents you talk with the people you love you talk with your therapist you talk with somebody and develop a support system which will help you tide over these bad days these difficult days which are going to be very very harmful for you in your preparation now nobody has talked talked about this as far as i know but i'm just telling you make sure that something over there does not go wrong in your pursuit to enter into that medical college because if it does you know if something bad happens and you end up hurting yourself or the people you love it was not worth it bapre <sighs> i feel like point number 7 is very serious in literally all of my videos i have the point number 8 which is to stop using social media at all when i was in class 11th and 12th mere zamane mein जब हम स्कूल जाते थे 30 किलोमीटर बोट राइड करके एट दैट टाइम वी डू नॉट हैव फोन्स बट नाउ अ डेज फोन इज बिकम एसेंशियल द टैबलेट हैज बिकम एसेंशियल एवरीबडी इज यूजिंग इट टू स्टडी ऑफ कोर्स यू यूज दैट बट डोंट यूज सोशल मीडिया फॉर गॉड सेक इंस्टाग्राम इज रूइनिंग योर लाइफ द रील्स आर रूइन योर लाइफ सो द डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट ऑफ दैट इज दैट यू आर नॉट एबल टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन योर किताब एज लॉन्ग एज यू वर बिफोर दैट इंस्टाग्राम एट्सेट्रा एंटर योर लाइफ सो द थिंग इज माई एंटायर पॉइंट ओवर हियर इज स्टॉप यूजिंग इंस्टाग्राम स्टॉप यूजिंग टिकटॉक स्नैपचैट वॉट एवर सोशल मीडिया एप दैट यू हैव ऑन योर फोन Don't use it. In short, focus on your preparation and जो भी तुम्हें news लेनी है that will come to you directly. You don't have to install Twitter for that. Right. The next point is point number नाइन That is actually fixating too much on the college rather than fixating too much on your preparation. So I see a lot of people just uh, you know blindly typing. Aims ही मेरी जिंदगी है Aims lover 2021 need aspirant Aims goal whatever. So it's okay. It's very nice that you want a college in your life, right? You you really want to get into that X Y Z college. You really want that X Y Z seat. Uh, but man, if you are dreaming of that, uh, stop doing that. Because the thing is, you have to focus on your marks and your rank more than you have to focus uh, on what college you want. And the way to do it is simply by analyzing your mistakes and you know uh, having a better preparation. Right? Okay. Point number ten. This is the last point, maybe. And uh, this one focuses much more on the people who have joined a coaching institute. The start part of twelfth, I was very much fixated upon what that coaching institute was teaching me. If uh, there was something such as nuclear physics going on in the coaching class, I was not allowing myself to read anything else apart from that nuclear physics, and that was a very bad mistake. Because the thing is, guys, coaching institutes are helping you. get into the medical college and you don't have to 100% rely on the coaching institute you have to rely on 100% yourself because they are just assisting you in your preparation they are not doing your preparation for you so along with the coaching institute whatever you are studying let's say you are studying botany right uh, but if your botany part is done uh, and if you want to go to let's say zoology uh, in your normal life do that just don't let a coaching institute limit yourself from studying something which you want to study but we can't because something else is going on the coaching institute the mistake number 11 is uh, you know pretty common when people usually make that uh, is not subscribing to this channel so if you're watching this video and if you feel like any of these tips could apply to you please please consider subscribing to this channel and sharing this channel to all of your friends it would mean a lot to me anyways thank you so much for watching if, if you haven't met before hi my name is anuj pachel i am a third year mbba student at government medical college nagpur soon to be a fourth year mbba student if i survive the exams that is coming up in the next month anyways thank you so much for watching this video and again if you did like it make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also please, please subscribe it would mean a lot to me Thank you so much for watching. It's your boy Anuj. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.